This is my love song to you. Let every woman know I'm yours, so you can fall asleep each night, babe. And know I'm dreaming of you more. You're always hoping that we make it. You always wanna keep my gaze, but you're the only one I see, love. And that's the one thing that won't change. I will never stop trying. I will never stop watching as you leave. I will never stop losing my breath every time I see you looking back at me. And I will never stop holding your hand. I will never stop opening your door. I will never stop choosing you, babe. I will never get used to you. This love song to you. It's not a momentary phase. You are my life. I don't deserve you, but you love me just the same. And as the mirror says we're older, I wanna look the other way. You are my life, my love, my only, and that's the one thing that won't change. I will never stop trying. I will never stop watching as you leave I will never stop losing my breath Every time I see you looking back at me And I will never stop holding your hand I will never stop opening your door I will never stop choosing you, babe I will never get Forever could never be long enough for me I feel like I've had long enough with you Forget the world now, we won't let them see But there's one thing left to do Now that the weight has lifted Love has surely shifted in my way Marry me Today and every day Marry me If I ever get the nerve to say hello in this cafe Say you will Never be close enough for me to feel like I am close enough to you. You wear white and I wear out the words I love you, and you're beautiful. Now that the wait is over, and love has finally showed her my.
each other's face So much in love, you're alone in this place Like there's nobody else in the world I was in love for that long ago I know that she'll always be there for me, and I'll always be there for her, even though we're a thousand miles away. I remember when Brittany and JD first started talking and eventually had their first date. She came to work the next day telling me how not only did he bring her flowers, but he also brought flowers for Mama Perry. I'm pretty sure I asked Brittany if he had any siblings, because people with that kind of heart just don't exist today. After that first conversation, I knew then that JD was the one for Brittany. I watched her love grow over the years. Now the day that I knew was coming is finally here. JD, you are handsome and generous with your love for Brittany, and I couldn't ask for anything more for her. I have never seen Brittany as happy as she is when she is with you. Brittany has been like a sister to me, and now I'm dating a brother. I wish you two a lifetime full of love, laughter, and happily ever after. I love you both. Hey everybody, um, those of you that don't know, I'm JD's little sister, and I, like the rest of you, am here to celebrate JD and Brittany. Um, as both JD's sister and Brittany's maid of honor, I'm so happy to be up here giving my little toast to these two. So, here goes. JD, I'm so excited you found someone who you love and who loves you back. You deserve it, and I'm glad you found Brittany. I remember a few weeks before you told us all about her, you and I were up at some ungodly hour, probably talking about anything from a metaphysical self to who would win in a fight, Goku or Superman. And at one point, I told you I would protect your future girlfriend. She would be tall, have brown hair, love football, enjoy the occasional casual game, and she would be your girl in polka dot rain boots. Little did we know that I had not only got an accurate enough description, but that girlfriend would later become your wife. Of course, being siblings means we've been through more than sleep-deprived philosophy. There's also been sleep-deprived jokes that will only be funny to us. Like, oh, we will really, really be the killer. <laughs> Slice the green back on the side. But that's what's great about being close with someone. We've gone through a lot together, and though I've thrown a lot at you, like a metal ruler, a break, a few breakdowns, and many mean words, we are siblings after all. Despite all that, you've always been the best big brother and been there for me when I needed you. You stuck around. So Brittany, be prepared because you've caught that one for life. And speaking of Brittany, you would become as good a friend to me as possible. I treasure all the memories that now feature you. And picking just a few to talk about was really hard, especially when there's some really good ones about wedding pants. <laughs> some of my favorite. Like the first time we all went to King's Dominion, from getting you to join the Pen 15 Club in the morning to the end of the night where we all sat at Denny's at 2 a.m. I think that must have been the big, the, been the first time we went on an adventure together, and it was a proper adventure, because there really is nothing quite like Mama Bear Brittany almost fighting someone in another car <laughs> because they were coming at the squad, and then later throwing me under the bus when I hit some lady with football. <laughs> it's okay though, because we have the now iconic Brit line, she did it. That's, that's not to say we haven't also shared more than that. There's been tears too, but don't worry because they were only good tears. Because another one of my favorite memories is when you both decided what your first dance song would be and not all three of us crying like babies in the car. In all the time that I've gotten to know you, you've become like one of my sisters. And although you've been family probably since the Mama Bear incident, if not longer, I'm glad to now officially count you as one of us. So let me toast not only to my big brother, but to my new sister. Aww. I've known Jamie for 10 years, 
Um, we're both pretty quiet people, or pretty quiet around new people, but we soon got to know each other pretty well. JD is one of those people that you can just talk to and know that, know that he's listening. Over the years, he's become a brother to me, and has been there for the good times and the hard times. When he first introduced me to Brittany, I remember how open she was and how interested she was in JD's, what he had to say in JD's friends. I got to spend time with both Brittany and JD on many occasions, and was happy to know that JD could be himself around her. It seemed like they really complemented each other quite well. I know these two will be really good together, and have been already. I'm happy for the two of you, and I, and I know you'll continue to support each other. As many of y'all have already figured out, we're here to celebrate the love of these two. Um, as some of you may know, my name is Mark, and I'm J.D.'s brother-in-law. I met J.D. back in 1998, and I can clearly remember our first encounter. I was sitting on the sofa with my now wife, Chrissy, and little J.D. was trying to start a movie to watch. He got the movie going and then came and sat on my lap to, uh, to watch the movie. And about the time that he'd gotten settled in, gotten good and comfy, he decided to christen me. <laughs> he farted on me. <laughs> I'd never met this kid before in my life. And now he's bouncing farts off my way. Since that introduction into J.D.'s world, I've watched him grow and flourish into the wise and compassionate man you all see before you. J.D., I'm constantly amazed at the man you have grown to be, and it's only fitting that you would have an equally amazing bride. I love you both, and I know that the two of you will always cherish each other. I hope that you always find that love when you look into each other's eyes. And with that, if y'all don't mind raising your glasses, may you never lie, cheat, or drink, but if you must lie, lie with each other. If you must cheat, cheat death, and if you must drink, drink with us, for we all love you and wish you the best of what the, wish you both the love and happiness that you deserve. We just want to thank you all for being here with us today. We love each and every one of you, and you all hold a special place in our hearts. Uh, let's have a good time. Just remember that, alright? Alright, brother, go ahead, go for it.